five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Here we are, beep, 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 beep. live from Parliament, New York. Hello, everybody. This is Alex Bennett, and this is the Ramble. Yeah, we go until you know midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting old with him. He's getting old with me. We're both getting old, ladies and gentlemen. The harbinger of death, Larry <laughs> Bubbles the dark Brown. Angel. The Dark Angel that is Larry Bubbles Brown. <laughs> Hello, Dark Angel. How are you? Hello. <laughs> I'll be passing out death warrants today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so what happens after we die? Do you know? Cause I've, been, I've been thinking a lot about that lately. I think it'll be just like it was before we were born. Nothing. Yeah, but that scares me too. I don't. I can't understand what it was like never to, you know. I mean, I've it scares me too, and it just really. If that's true, I mean, it just really life is totally pointless. Well, I'm I'm getting to that that point where I'm beginning to believe that it is pointless. By the way, folks, you can tune out now, because <laughs> um, we know where this is going. <laughs> Uh, no, what I'm what I'm saying is that we're you know uh, it's um, we it, 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 we all think about you know what death and the fact is the reason we have religion is because death exists okay because people want to go believe in a god and they want to believe in a heaven uh, so that they can go to a better place right I'm going to go visit Aunt Maud. You know, I'm going to visit my mother who's been long gone. I'm going to be with dad again. Right. Well, in a way, you're going to be with dad again because he's, he's uh, you know, lawn mulch. And uh, <laughs> now you're going to be mulch. Okay. <laughs> but do you think there's a possibility there's something else? I mean, something, something scientific. Uh, I don't think there's anything to scientific that shows that as of yet well we do have we do have a thing where uh science is kind of improving string theory and the fact that we may have uh several dimensions in which we exist that there are something like up to 12 dimensions and then there's a space between those dimensions that makes us unable to communicate with those other dimensions does it make sense so far? And and the, this has been scientifically kind of proven that they believe it to exist. So you exist in another dimension. Not exactly the same. Larry Brown in another dimension may well be a rocket scientist. Uh, that would be interesting. Or a world-renowned philanthropist. Or you might be a heroin addict. <laughs> we'll go with the latter. You know, but wait a minute. In that dimension, you may be a heroin addict, but in the next dimension, you may be a doctor. And in the next dimension, you might be uh, a big movie star. I doubt that, you know, but, uh, and so you have all these dimensions. So my question is, if, in fact, you're dead in this dimension, does that mean you're dead in all the other dimensions? That's a good question. See, so so, if you believe scientific string theory and so on, uh, the fact is that maybe we uh, we do exist in a lot of other other dimensions, and uh, uh, we continue to exist in those dimensions. But this dimension sucks. Yeah, that would be uh, well. That a good writer could come up with a screenplay for that. That'd be a very interesting movie. Well, they they deal in that on a, in a lot of science fiction. You know, about other words like Earth 2, you know, Earth 3. Uh, and uh, I, it's just, you know, I just don't know. I don't know 
what happens? I mean, we are energy. Does that energy just dissipate and go away and nothing happens with it? Or does that energy continue to, to vibrate? Um, I mean, let's face it. We come here. We're born. I mean, here I am. I'm about to hit 80. So I'm thinking about this a lot, you know. And as I say, the Grim Reaper is standing over my shoulder. Uh, I think about this a lot. And, of course, a lot of people I know are dying or like a dear friend of ours getting a stroke or, or whatever. And so, uh, uh, you know, like I'm facing this thing with the, with the possibility of prostate cancer, okay, which at my age probably is not, going to, is not a death sentence, you know. Uh, it, it simply means I have prostate cancer, which 70% of all men over the age of 80 have prostate cancer. Many, many times they don't even know it and it isn't found out till they die of, say, a heart attack and they do an autopsy and they find out he had prostate cancer. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that's, it's so slow growing and whatever. So anyway, uh, 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 let, let's say, uh, you know, uh, what, was, what was the point I was going to make on that? I was going somewhere with it. What, what was I saying? What well, happens everyone, is I suddenly, I suddenly elucidate and I get away from what I was going to say. We <laughs> <He> derailed. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, so I don't know about that. But anyway, so I'll, we'll just move on here. Uh, but I just, uh, you know, I just wonder what, what it's all about, you know, and I start thinking more. Oh, I know what it was that I was going to say. So the other day, I suddenly something hit me and I went, why do I have prostate? If I have prostate cancer, why do I have it? What's the main reason I have it, Larry, if I have it? Age. Exactly. And then I went, I'm old enough to get it. That's the good news. Mm-hmm. You know, that, okay, so I've got it. So it, it can do something about it, you know. They'll uh, they'll um, um, uh, check it out and... You know, they'll probably catch whatever's there, and they'll if they have to radiate me, they radiate me or whatever. But I made it to 80. All these other people are dropping dead around me. You know? True. So, I mean, uh, you know, and, and they, go at, they go at 77, 78, and everybody goes, okay, well, they lived a natural lifespan. I'm past my sell-by date. What, are you, what is the... Uh Life expectancy for an American male now? I think it may be something like 75, 76. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, let me <laughs> let me look it up here. What is the life expectancy of a male? Let's see here. What is the life expectancy let's see, of a male? Uh, let's see here. Uh, life expectancy of American men drops for a third year. The average male lifespan stood at 76.1 years. See, I was right on that. Mm-hmm. In 2017, a four-month decline since 2014. Drug overdose rates for men are almost twice as high as a decade ago. Okay, oh, just give me the average life expectancy. On average, Americans can now expect to live 78.6 years, a statistically significant drop of 0.1 year, according to a report in 2016 data. Blah, 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 blah. So, th- but it doesn't say male. I want male. For a man to die. What is the average age for a man to die? A man reaching 65 can expect to live an average until 80... F- what? A man reaching age 65 today can expect to live on average until age 84. A woman turning 65 today can expect to live on the average of age 86. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's good news. What is yeah, it? there is something like if you reach if you reach the mid 60s, you should go a little longer than the average life expectancy. Life expectancy why, at, 80, at 80 uh, is another 8.34 years for me. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll show them. Uh, you know, I'm going to live forever. You know, so whatever. But, yeah. 
I was reading some health magazines now. They really think that they can get people to live to 150. They think that's going to be common, not too far from now. But what? What? You're just going to you're going to be like just this thing, you know? I mean, if they can pres preserve your uh, your vitality and your look and your whatever, fine. But I I think you're going to start falling p apart at the same age. Yeah, if you, if you're gonna feel like uh, crap, it's not gonna be worth. I it. mean, you're gonna be this wrinkle, just this thing that the gravity has just turned into a puddle on the floor. <laughs> Boy, I'm I, I I'm I'm you know I am less positive than you are. I know. It's <laughs> amazing. This is probably why we get along so well. Well, we've always been the. I was thinking about death in the first grade. So oh, I was thinking about it. Uh, uh, I, I, I think when I was uh, about then. Yeah, yeah. And, and I always, I always looked at it as looming over me. I mean, way in the future, but looming over me, and that the day was yeah. eventually going to come where I was going to be facing it. And now the day has come when I'm facing it. Yeah, and I think mo the rest, most of society, I think, is in denial. We weren't even, as a kid, you're not even supposed to talk about that. So I kind of had to keep it to myself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, uh, I asked, uh, well, I asked my father about death, and he gave me the same answer you came up with, was that it was uh, the death uh, uh, was being dead was much, you've been there before. Is how he put exactly. it. Exactly. You know, it's like before you were born, and then I worried about what it was like before I was born. I mean, I, <laughs> you know, I can't conceive of 1937 or 38. You know, um, because I didn't exist. Well, how is it I didn't exist? I, I I've existed this long. Now, here's what bothers me. See, I don't get guys like Donald Trump or Vladimir Putin. Or any people who are like, try to lord their beliefs on other people, okay? Who constantly try to win popularity contests. How's that, you know? Mm -hmm. Because you only have a finite amount of life here on planet Earth. It is maybe something like an average here we saw of, I don't know, if you live to be 76, well, let's say it's 76. Uh, my question to you is, when you look at the totality of the universe, and as I say, I was watching a documentary on the planets, and it says Mars 4.3 billion years ago. Now take that 76 years and fold it into, you know, 4.3 billion years, and what are you? A speck. You're a fucking speck. You mean nothing in the totality of the universe. Okay? Why do you try to make yourself so fucking important while you're here? I know. Why do you try to make other people's lives miserable? Why do you round them up and <laughs> throw them into concentration camps and gas them? You know, I, I don't understand the Hitlers. I don't understand the Trumps. I don't understand the Putins. You're only here for a minute amount of time, and I don't care who you are whether you're Donald Trump or some immigrant trying to cross the border. Your life is only an infinite speck in the totality of our solar system. So why don't you do the best you can with that speck? Instead, you're trying to make other people's lives miserable. And I don't understand that. I've well, they're spoken. not rational men, so... No, they're not rational. But uh, but do you get what I'm saying? I mean, you have to. Yeah. But, kind of but I think uh, uh, on our small planet, they do feel very very powerful. So maybe it must feed them something. I don't know. Yeah, but 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 don't they say to themselves, "I'm only here for you know"? They don't have the privilege of being here necessarily, relatively any longer than the rest of us. Okay, that's the one privilege they don't have. All their money, all their power does not give them added life. So why do they do this to us? That's what I can't figure out. That's what doesn't make sense to me. Um, and uh, they're, they're pricks. 
Well, I think most people that run countries are like that. Yeah. Not I mean, just them. I know? mean, you and I don't want power, do we? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, what do you want, Bubs? What would, what's perfect for you? Uh, yeah, I just want to have good health and uh, have uh, be with my friends and laugh. That's all I want. Yeah, and you want to be able to ply your trade, which you enjoy doing, right? Uh, when it works, yes. But what do you mean when it works? Bubs, well, it works most of the time for you. I have not known you to, to really bomb. No, yeah, I still feel like a failure. But. Do you want to know why you're bomb-proof? <laughs> it would be not nice for anybody to boo you because <laughs> you go on stage with this persona that go that if somebody boos you it's like they're beating up they're a bully beating up on a skinny they're, kid. yeah they're bullies that's yeah. true that's i mean right. the character you've created is almost uh um do you get heckled a lot very rarely see and that's the reason why and it's because of the character you've created you know, do you know why Teller never talks on stage? No. He told, he said it to me once, told me once. See, that he does talk, folks. He told me once, he said, because in an early beginning of my career, I realized that if you didn't talk on stage, nobody would heckle you. Really? Yeah. And he says, it's true. Nobody will heckle you if, you, if, you, if you're literally silent. Because they're not going to heckle you because you can't give them a comeback. That's genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's the reason he, the character as he describes it, isn't mute. He just chooses not to talk. Okay? So anyway, but uh, that's the reason why I don't think you get, uh, you get heckled. But if you're, if, you're, if you're verbose and blah, 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 blah you're going to get heckled, you know. But then again, if you're that way, you probably can take the heckling. Do you? Yeah. Uh, uh, you so you say you really haven't been heckled that much in your time. Very rarely. You know. I remember you were heckled by uh, who was the writer? Uh, uh, Hunter Thompson. Hunter Thompson. You were doing a thing at the uh, Mitchell Brothers, right? Two, uh, the, 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 right before the grand opening, they had a private party, and they hired me and two other comics to come down there. And the yeah. And the strippers and Hunter Thompson was heckling me. <laughs> he was there, and you went. <laughs> he was on, there, yeah. You went on stage, and what did he do? I, he just started yelling. It was kind of incoherent, but yeah, I think as he often was. <laughs> I mean, did he say you sucked or anything like that? No, it was just crazy shit. I don't know what the hell he was on at the time, but yeah, I think we. The strippers, so, the strippers so at least, me it, oh, he's like that with everyone. At least one of the times you can remember getting a heckled, you were heckled by somebody famous. <laughs> I was. That's true. <laughs> so how bad that's can a, that that's be? That's actually not a bad story. I wish I had remembered more details of it, but yeah. I should talk about it. Yeah, again. yeah, it's not bad. Were you ever heckled? Well, once by Hunter Thompson. What? Hunter, Hunter Thompson, Thompson. <laughs> heckled you? Do you, do you know how many comedians would like go crazy if Hunter Thompson heckled them? You know, and uh, but and, and and then again, it's also because your persona, if somebody heckled, probably wouldn't have a comeback, would you? No, I'm, I'm not quick. Like 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 if Steve Pearl gets heckled, he he'll just come back with a an avalanche. Of, just a uh, yeah yeah. Great stuff, you know? Yeah, he'll beat you up with his words. Uh, yeah. But the thing is that that's why I think they don't heckle you. It's because your persona is is not the kind that people would heckle. You know, they might walk away and go, that act sucked, although I doubt that, but they could say that. But they wouldn't yeah. say it to your face while you were on stage because they, they, you're just, you're like a little, you know, little skinny kid. They don't want to beat up. <laughs> Are you still skinny? Uh, I'm thin from the running, but uh, I think I'm 164. Yeah. What's your diet was, like? What's your diet like? I was like? a fat kid, though, so I uh, oh, really? was always wary I, of getting, gaining weight. I can't imagine you I, being fat. Oh, I was very fat in high school, yeah. What are your eating habits like? Now they're uh, 
like you, I think I drink a lot of Coke Z- Z- Net Zero. Is it what is it called? Coke Zero? The, the, it, it, no sugar. Coke, no sugar. Right. Yeah. But in high school, I used to drink the regular Coke. I used to drink uh, 12 cans a day. So. Wow. I, I used to drink that Coke a lot, too. But uh, I don't think I've had a drink of it in years. And I don't take in any sugars if I can. I try to avoid them. Uh, yeah. I don't think sugar, that, sugar's not good for you. That was like the greatest drink ever invented, I think. Sugar's not good for you. you it's know. horrible for you, yeah. yeah. Uh, only if it's part of what you're eating, like if it's a fruit or a vegetable. Those sugars are naturally existent in nature. Uh, but processed sugar isn't. And, yeah. and so Although I'm, you can be if you, uh, who, there's some, was it some actor went on an all fruit diet and within two weeks developed diabetes. So, Really? Well, I, there, yeah. is, there is a lot of sugar in fruit. I don't do a lot of fruit for that reason, although I love fruit. Oh, God. Yeah, there's could, a ton of sugar in fruit. I could spend the rest of my life eating peaches, you know? I mean, I love fruit. But you got to be careful of it, you know. Um, but I, I don't. But do you do you eat healthy? No, I eat meat like crazy. You do? Wow. wow. Well, that that's my diet. You know, that's my low carb diet is meat, meat and uh, uh, some vegetables. I'll do broccoli. Uh, I can do uh, salad, and I eat, put in avocados because they're low in carbs. Um. Yeah, but meat is always a main staple of what I eat, and it doesn't seem to it hasn't seemed to hurt me. You know, uh, my cholesterol is spot on. You know? Really? Wow. Yeah, all my vitals are fine until, of course, the cancer sets in. Then they'll go crazy. <laughs> well, <cancer. laughs> you know, I'm beginning to think I don't have to worry about that. You know, so I don't think you do, but but but. But you never know, you know. I've got that whole but you never never know thing going for me. By the time we uh, this thing plays, by the way, I probably already will have uh, cancer. So, you know. Actually, I'll play this next week, so I'll still be waiting for the results. That's it. Okay. How long did it take to get the results? Uh, about five days. Yeah. No, I, I had to wait for the for the for the. Uh, uh, for the PSA, and I was praying the PSA would go down, and it went down by a full third. And then he took this 4K test, which said I have a 53% chance that I have a Gleason score of seven or above, uh, and 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 maybe have an aggressive prostate cancer. And you know, I mean, I've got 50. I've, uh, I've got the edge there with 53%. But that's why he's giving me the, uh, you know, the uh, biopsy. Uh, we got to make sure. We got to know what's doing down there. You know, whatever. And I go, okay, well, all right, find out. He said, I said, it's going to kill me. He said, no, nah, whatever happens, it'll be mildly annoying. Wow. <laughs> so, no, oh, okay. I, I li- I'll go for mildly annoying. All right. Meaning, I, I, you know, you'll have to do radiation or something like that. But it's it's so I mean, who knows who knows you know it's probably not going to be the thing that kills me. What's going to kill me is my wife. <laughs> you know that's why I can't go to sleep at night. <laughs> you know I'm always waiting for her to kill me. You know uh, I I think you're probably you know but I I think uh, I you know you, you kind of wake up and you go you see we get back to the original depressing thing we started this whole conversation with. You just don't know what it is that's going to get you, you know? Yeah, I really, I think about that all the time. There's, yeah, I definitely don't, I want some warning. I don't want a stroke or a heart attack. Well, you don't want a stroke because that means you're paralyzed or whatever. But, you know, it, you're still alive, kind of, as a sentient being. Uh, but you wouldn't want to live that way. I think. I no. think. I think a heart attack. You know, you die and you don't know what happened to you. Maybe that's the best way. You know. Who knows? But you don't choose the way you're going to die. So get used to that. 
and Unless live life, suicide. do like I've done, live life to the fullest. <laughs> yeah, sure. Who was the comic that said every live every day like it's your last? A lot of crying. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I just uh, my new theory in life is, uh, um, you um, get a lot of shit and then you live. You know, so you know, you die. Anyway, hey, listen, we've run out. Notice of we always we always get very cheery as the holidays approach. <laughs> yes, we're gonna get these. These are gonna get even more depressing as the weeks go on. <laughs> I love talking to you, Larry. Me too, <laughs> Larry Bubbles Brown, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you in a while. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, and that's our good friend Larry Bubbles Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Larry Bubbles Brown. Blah, 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 blah. The Bubbles, Bubbles, Bubbles. Okay, let me uh, let me bring up my uh, my Skype here so we can talk to you folks out there in. Uh, uh, internet land, okay. Uh, let me see here. Ba -ba 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 -bum. There we go. We're up and we're on, and uh, it says that we're live, and uh, you should see that. So now we're waiting for people to call us, which could be any moment now, any second now. Um, I don't like to start talking because if I start talking about something, you know, all of a sudden uh, the you know the thing goes off. And uh, I am, uh, I'm uh, uh, just, uh, you know, I suddenly don't, you know, get all fluxed, flummoxed and everything. Forget it. I can't talk tonight. Jeez almighty. Anyway, I hope, uh, I hope we weren't too depressing, uh, Bubs and I, but Bubs and I have the tendency to like to get a little, uh, little uh, depressing. So, you know. It's our, it's our, it's our game that we play. Anyway, I'm waiting for somebody to call. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, we are uh, alive. We are on. Uh, people are getting our. There we go. Here comes Jeff Stein early, early for Jeff. Live. We are on. Oh, oh, yeah. Wait a minute. And now you've got the audio on. There we go. Here comes Jeff Stein early, early for Jeff. See. Okay. Now you've got the audio on. There yeah. we go. You hear that? Stein, early. Early for Jeff. That. Okay. Well, because you've got something. Are you watching the video? I'm going to show There, there. there that, can you hear me now? Can you hear me, Jeff? Now Jeff can't hear me. Oh, boy. Uh, Jeff. Hey, Jeff? Oh, this is... Makes for great radio, doesn't it? Or great TV, or whatever we are here. Uh, well, he just hung up. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know what he what 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 the problem is that he has, but he has that every uh, every night. So anyway, anyway, anyway. Okay, here comes Jeff again. Let he me has, see here. He now you, there you are again, Jeff. You've got. You have and something on. Are here you here comes Jeff again? Jeff, you, listen to me. Now you, there are you, you are again, Jeff. That's you you're watching the internet is what you're doing, Jeff. Here comes Jeff again. Jeff, listen to me. Are you are you, again, Jeff? Uh, that's it, you're watching Jeff, the internet is what you're doing, Jeff. There. Can you hear me now? I thought I was shutting it down, but there you shut it down. Now you're fine. Now you're fine. Look at that. See, you're fine, Jeff. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Jeff? Jeff can't hear me. Oh boy. Huh? Oh well, I'm I'm gonna get rid of Jeff here because uh, I uh, there was, he got rid of me. So I don't I don't know. I think it's his. I think what he's doing is he's listening to the audio of the show. But it's it's too soon. So what could it be that he's getting? I don't know. I, if I were there, I could solve the problem in moments. 
Here, here we go. Here comes Phil. Here comes Phil. All right. So uh, we, uh, you know, Phil won't have the same problem. Yeah, I'm having some problems. What what problems are you having? Uh, Skype problems. I'm having problems with. Uh, uh, am I frozen? No. No, you're fine. Mm. You're fine. All right. Yeah, you look great. You know, no problem. But I can't figure out what the story is with uh, with uh, um, Jeff. Yeah. What what what? what well, you... uh, my camera is not moving. You know, it's really. You're, yeah. you're doing fine here. Really? Okay. You look fine here. You know. I won't worry about well, How many technical problems do I have to deal with tonight? Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm even having problems with my Outlook. I can't seem to send any messages from my computer. And I can't receive any either. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you can't receive what messages? Uh, email messages on Outlook. Uh, that's on my computer. Well, that's something with Outlook because you're, you know, you're sending us a signal here, so yeah. there's nothing wrong with your internet connection. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. What's happening is every I, I see you on uh, YouTube and it's fine, but on my Skype connection, it's like it's it's a picture every three seconds or two seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so there's there's something wrong with the way I'm signed in. It yeah. made me sign in again. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Jeff again. Let's see what happens now with Jeff. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, hello. Through, then I'll, hello, I'll, Jeff. Are you there? Jeff? Now, now you're okay. Can you hear us? Yep. What was it? I just shut down the whole computer. I, and I've got to do the same thing. So talk to Jeff. and uh, <laughs> You got the same problem? Yeah, I, I got something. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Well, everybody else call in so that we, you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave your space open. Are you going to shut down or are you going to shut down? There he goes. Okay, he shut down. How you doing, Jeff? I'm good. I don't know what that is. Two nights in a row you've had that problem. I know. Uh, what, what do you do before, you, before we go on? Do you listen to us? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's something you're not turning off once you come on. In other words, if you're watching I, I I usually, um, you know, what I would do is I would close down your browser. Okay. No. Get rid of your browser because, you know, you don't need it. You've got Skype is what all you're needing, you know. Right. Right. And that's probably where that audio was coming from. So. But I thought I'm usually shutting it off anyway, or turning it off. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, and I always make sure the Skype, uh, uh, the, the Skype and make sure that's yeah. knocked off, you know. Well, you see, I mean, if I were to turn, for instance, I have uh, stuff here, right? Um, I have uh, uh, my browser open, but I make sure that all my stuff on the browser is turned off so that yeah. I can see the stuff, but I don't hear it. But if I were to do this, for instance, my stuff on the browser is see, turned off. all of a sudden you're hearing so that the show. I can see the stuff, but I don't hear see? it. See, then I kill now it. I'm hearing it twice. Huh? Yeah. Now I killed it and I'm fine. You know, okay. I make sure that all my, all my things are off. All right. So okay. that's yeah. what you got to do. And yeah. we're, we're waiting for Phil to call back. Is anybody else going to call? Come on. Somebody else call. Yeah. What the hell? You know, who knows? So how have you been feeling? Well, I'm happy that I'm uh, home again. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, that's good. We you try to... a nice little trip mm -hmm. down south. Yeah. And uh, we had one day of nice weather. The rest of it was kind of... Cold or rainy? Really? In Florida? Well, I went to Florida and also Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta but, was very cold. Yeah, yeah. Does Atlanta get cold this time of year? I don't know. By the way, the reason I'm doing this, folks, is to keep from sneezing. I've been sneezing tonight. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so, well, folks, you know, we're just sitting here waiting for folks to call. And maybe it's not mm -hmm. going to happen tonight. Wow. Yeah. Friday night. Huh? Friday night is... We no, usually the, have a lot of people. Yeah, the other thing is this is Thursday, Jeff. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, everybody. So Thursday nights Thursday. are hell. So what's happening, what's happening, by the way, let me see if I can do this. What's happening outside, they're making a movie here. You uh, told me that they're, yeah. Uh, yeah. They get, they're, they got fake snow. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know if I can show it to you. Let me see if I, uh, let me see here. This is, um, okay, I need this uh, like that. Okay, now let me see if I, if this is coming up on my, oh, yes, it is. Wait a minute, it's there. Wait a minute, I, but I oh, don't, uh, I don't, I, I need a, something a little bit speedier here. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Where's my, where am I? Uh, oh, I, I know what I got to do here. Hold on a second. I got to go here and see if I can get my, uh, okay, I got to get to another, uh, another thing here. There we go. All right. Okay. Here we go. I'm 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 using my cell phone here. Okay, there's a 5G. Okay, then I bring up uh, this. There we go. Okay, now if I uh, what I do is I go to uh, which one is this? Well, it doesn't really matter to be honest with you. I can just do this. Hold on. Okay, see that? That's my uh, that's my iPhone. Okay, folks. And now, if I take, I'm gonna. You're gonna have to hear me shouting from across the room. But if I uh, kind of shoot this out the window, you can see down there they're making the movie, and it's not snowing here in New York. That's all fake snow. It's like if you walk on it. It's like walking on some kind of felt. Uh, yeah, but we don't see it. What they've done is see uh, the entrance to all those. Um, all that. Uh, there not is a. Um, there are two lights. We're uh, not seeing end. anything. And they're never <laughs> lit because they've been off for years. But they put lights in there, so they light up, and it looks. They, it, I don't know why the landlords don't light those lights up again. But anyway, so uh, he still, can't hear. I'm the only one here. You'd be able to see that, and uh, it's. Uh, you know, there. Hey Alex, we can't see anything. I think that's kind of okay now. Let me Alex, see. There, there's, see uh, there's what we're doing. Okay, let me uh, turn this stuff <laughs> off here. But anyway, could you see that at all? No. Yeah. You know, you couldn't see it because you, you, you didn't turn on your, <laughs> you didn't have on your, uh, your thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me turn this thing off here. This is, um, uh, yeah. Isn't that nice so I can use the iPhone as a camera? It's terrific. Yeah. <laughs> it's really terrific. Uh, so I'll get rid of that. Okay. All right. Okay. All righty. Um, so did you go to the gym today? I, no. No? I haven't been to the gym in a long time. And part of the reason, I'll tell you, part of the reason I haven't gone to the gym, one of the reasons I haven't gone to the gym is to piss off Marjorie. <laughs> who 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 always goes? Yeah, you know, you're not uh, you're not uh, you're not going to the gym, you know, and um, uh, 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 and the other reason was is that I have a feeling that all that working out was what was making my PSA go up, and when I went to go get my last PSA, it went down by a whole third because I hadn't done the cycling. I'd done a lot of walking to make up for it. But uh, you know, I, I I didn't do the cycling thing, and the cycling thing can cause a rise in your PSA. So I hate to tell you, you're in trouble because Marjorie's assistant is pretty close to me. Oh really? Yeah. Are they in cahoots with each other? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She might be telling on you. Yeah, you so. gonna go work out? I will again. It's just I got a little tired of riding the bike all the time, and and so I did. Like I st started a really uh, every day. I was taking walks. I was walking at least a mile or two, yeah. and and now the weather's so cold that it's not a lot of yeah. fun to go. You know, do that. I wonder if Phil's ever coming back or whether his machine just blew on him completely. Yeah. 
Is anybody else going to call? We could use some more callers, folks. I mean, where's, where, where are all the other people? I know that um, uh, uh, Kathleen uh, isn't going to be here, for, at least for the foreseeable future, because her mother passed. And uh, we send uh, along our respects in that, in that nature. Um, what else was I going to tell you? If, if, oh, I got to tell you something. You know, I had a, a technical problem last night, which wasn't my fault. All of a sudden, my internet goes out completely, right? Yeah. Like, but it was like it was something that the the FiOS was doing, in which they were like rebooting everybody's, you know, modems. Well, I'm sorry, don't do it while I'm doing a fucking show, you know. <laughs> so eventually, it came back. Now I'm uh, the show's over with, and I go to look. You know how you name each of your Wi-Fi's different names, so that mm -hmm. you have a name that you know. You know that's the one, and you give it a uh, you give it a password and all of that. Well, all my passwords, all my Wi-Fi channels, had reverted to a generic name, oh. and gone to a generic password all right now i know how to fix that i know how to go on change the names back and all of that that's fine i went back i changed all the names back uh, you know i changed them i have ones called bolo mills and i changed the bolo mills and i put in the password and so the password's working and all of that um i couldn't exactly get the passwords working because for some reason online it wouldn't let me, but when I went to my app on uh, uh, on my iPhone, I could change them back to what they were. But what it did, remember how I told you I did all this stuff with the with the uh, with the with the, the uh, uh, lights and so on, so that they, yeah. I could turn them on and off. I give people an example. Uh, Echo, turn off the studio. Wait a minute. Echo, turn off studio. There we go. See? And then I go, Echo, turn on studio. And there we go. All right? Very nice. All that was fucked. <laughs> Completely fucked. Now, I've got three lights in here, four lights in this room, uh, uh, two lights in the pantry, two lights in the bathroom, uh, two lights in the guest room. I had to reprogram all of them. And originally I changed the password and somehow they weren't syncing up. So then I changed the password back and f it took me two and a half hours today to get all those lights working right again. All because the fucking cable company or the Fios decides, uh, well, just turn off the... Uh, We'll turn off the, uh, uh, we'll reboot all the uh, 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 routers. And I'm going, you know, I know that this is what's wrong, but what about those people like, say, Jeff, who now goes to his computer, he wants to use his, his Wi-Fi, and the Wi-Fi isn't working. And he can't figure out why. He doesn't know to go look and see that, that the name that's changed. I know what to look for now. But you don't. What, what if they did it to you? You know, they don't give you any warning. They don't, and, and they change everything. I mean, can't they reboot these things and not change the passwords and the, and the, and the names of the Wi-Fis? So uh, two, uh, I literally two and a half hours today to turn all my stuff back on. So here comes Tony. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Let me go into... Uh, uh, let me see here. Tony would be, uh, he's, uh, he's got a new name these days, which is Webhead. Well, you can't hear me? Oh, my God, I don't got sound. You can't hear me. Can you hear me? Yes, I can yeah. hear you. I can't hear you. I feel like, I feel like I'm sort of, what's that lady who was like? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're answering I me when I say you. stuff to you. Are you putting me on? Are you shining I'll me? I'll back. You're kind of like, I wish I could read lips. Oh, can you hear me? What is wrong with people tonight? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, can you hang up. 
No, I want to go on like this for the next half hour. I don't know what you said. Huh? I feel like it's the Seinfeld episode where Jerry was talking, remember? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Should I hang up? Yes. Oh, okay, I'll hang up. Yeah, I'll right I, yeah, who knows why he isn't getting us? But geez almighty, what is this? Technically unprofi unproficient night? I guess so. And Phil has never called back, so I assume Phil's gone for the night. You just have him frozen up there in the corner. We have uh, two TVs in this house. Yeah. That, that we use. Yeah. Sometimes when other people come here, there's a third one. But anyway. Phil says, I can't sign in. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Here, here comes Tony again, right? Watch. Tony will still not be able to hear us. Watch. Wait a minute. Hello, Tony. Are you there? Tony? Oh, Tony. Well, Tony. Uh, wait a minute. Let me call Tony. Let me call him. Maybe that's the way to do it. Let's see here. Tony Magno. Okay. Add. Okay. Now we're calling Tony Magno. Let's see if he answers. Is Tony going to answer? There's Tony. Oh, you know what it was? My what? volume was down. Your volume was down. You stupid I fucking moron. Say that. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> volume's <laughs> down. Well, that could be a good reason why you can't hear me. That's a, that's a, that's a good reason. I think, oh, my God, my volume's down. I don't know why I did that. You know, this is really embarrassing because we have a new, uh, we have a new outlet for the Ramble. You know, we've had, uh, we've gotten, we went over and we've got uh, iHeartRadio. It's one of our out, outlooks. Uh, we got, we got uh, Spotify. We've got uh, I, TuneIn. Uh, I like TuneIn. I used to. What? It. Yeah. I like TuneIn. I always, that's why I listen to you on the TuneIn. Yeah. Like and, uh, yeah, but that's only for live. That's for the live, you know, 24-7. Yeah. Well, we have a new one. You may remember... In the last episode of the Alex Bennett program in uh, 2013, what happened to my career? Uh, I was fired from Sirius XM Satellite Radio. Okay? Uh, we don't know why. I still don't know why. I have no idea. All I know is that I lost my job. Or as my friend Bob Goldthwait used to say, well, I lost my job. Well, I didn't really lose it. I know where it is. I'm just not going there anymore. <laughs> That's um, uh, so I um, uh, 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 lost my job at Sirius XM. And, and now it's m many years later, and I'm doing this internet thing, right? And they go out and they buy a company called Pandora. And Pandora, uh, 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 what, what did Pandora have? Basically, they had music. But all of a sudden, they decided they're now going to have podcasts. So I figured, what the fuck? I'll apply, oh. right, to see if they'll carry my podcast. And sure enough, I get a thing today. We're on Pandora. You just go to Pandora, go to oh. podcast, put in Alex Bennett, put in, I think, The Ramble. You can put that in there. You can put GabNet in there. All of those will get you to our, our podcast. Okay, so essentially, I'm back on Sirius XM <laughs> again. So Alex Pandora bought Sirius then, or no, 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 no. Own? Sirius own? bought Pandora. Oh wow! Yeah, so they own Pandora now. So you know, but don't tell Sirius because they'll probably take my <laughs> podcast off. You know. That's funny you're back in the same loop as them. Well, you know, it all gets a little weird, doesn't it? Huh? You know. So when I was, uh, when when we moved into this area here, um, it's it's mostly for people who are 55 or older. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, they also have a nice club place. So you can go in there and have uh, yeah. meetings and uh, play cards and 
and there's swimming pools and all that. So anyway, they, you know, when we, when we join the thing, they invite us. They said, okay, once a month, anybody who's, who's a newbie, you know, a new person, you know, is welcome to come in and say yeah. hello. Yeah. Meet some of these people. <clears throat> so I'm walking in there and blah, blah, blah. And then I look at Pam and I says, Pam. I said, I think that's Roy, which is a guy I knew. And, and Pam goes, no. I said, I thought he was dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I go over to the guy, and I haven't seen him for 30 years. Yeah. Okay. So I walk over to him, and I said, you're Roy, right? He goes, yeah. And I said, I'm Jeff Stein. And uh, I think he kind of said yes, but I'm not quite sure about that. And I said to him, well, don't you remember me? You're the guy who fired me. And he says, no, I never fired anybody. Yeah. Oh, so he was your boss? I said, you're right, Roy. <laughs> Full of shit. So anyway, uh, oh, is, is is Roy looking like shit now that he's older? <laughs> him anymore? Huh? Do you see him, Pam? No. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Was it a weird feeling of seeing him like, oh shit? We. Like, it was you know, him. It was him. I know. I mean, wow. Did you like him as a boss, Jeff, or no? So were wow. you? I don't want to say this, but were you kind of? Well, I can't say it. Well, you're it's like, crazy. he's alive. Oh, I was hoping he'd be gone. I'm joking. You, you know? know what I, I just happened to <laughs> think? I, what I just happened to think about is yeah. that Phil should have never signed off. Well, what did he do a tantrum? I must have missed no, it. No, no, no. He didn't. No, no tantrum. No. I thought he was mad at him. Not this time. No. He, he, he uh, was having problems with his... Uh, Oh, the connection? He was freezing every now and then on his side. He, his picture on our side looked terrific, right? So then I get a thing from him just now, uh, or a little bit ago here, that says, uh, I can't sign in. I don't know what what's wrong. He can come in on the audio. Huh? He can call on the audio. Uh, he, he, yeah, he could. He could use his phone. Yeah. Yeah, he could. Have one. <laughs> you know. He might be mad about the whole impeachment hearing. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. What impeachment? What impeachment? There's no idea. I like when he came out and read the letter with the phone call. It was a perfect phone call. Uh, let me see here. See that shit? Let, me, let me call Phil. Uh, wait a minute. One, one group member not on call. Okay, let me see here. Let me let me just ring him and see if he, you know, if he if he comes up here. Uh, but uh, it, it's uh, you know, I mean, he, who knows? He looks like he's having some real problems tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, I'll tell you what this, these problems I had last night just so pissed me off because. I, after the show, I went. I went to the lights, and I went to say, "Oh, here we go. Here what comes what a this. debacle." Oh what do you mean, what a debacle? You didn't have the debacle I had last night with my I had fucking just class. Get, I was on the phone with Apple. Uh, <laughs> my my password wasn't working. I couldn't get into anything. I was blocked out. It didn't like my answers. You know, to my uh, uh, Apple questions to change the password. Yeah. One re and. And now I'm using a password I used uh, a few months ago, and it, and it's working. So I, I don't know what's going on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, what what password, what password for what? <laughs> to get into control. the computer. To get into the computer. Yeah, it, it would let me in. Don't you have right. it so that it just signs itself on so you don't have to sign on all the time? I but did. But I know why you had that problem. Your password what? used to be Trump. Uh, <laughs> that's why they're going to reject it it still is <laughs> I know but it, it doesn't work anymore yeah yeah. yeah. well I mean I mean, I had this thing last night with the, with, with files and it just you know they every now and then they've done this before too where they yeah. re reboot the, uh, the routers I don't know why they did it in the middle of the show last night 
-hmm. And then when they come back, my password's back to the generic, uh, some long number. I don't know what it is. And the password's been completely changed. And then I have to change back the name and back the password, but it wouldn't take my password online. So I had to go to my my Fios on here to change it, and that did That's change it. That's what I had to do. I had to, I had to go on my phone, get on a Apple ID dot something dot Apple dot com yeah. website, yeah, and uh, answer some questions. And when I answered, you know, it says, "What city were your parents born in?" Mm, well. Yeah. I don't remember if it was I put Brooklyn or New York, you know. So that's not I, a city, Phil. Well, New York's that's a city. A bar- Brooklyn's a borough. You know what yeah. you should do with those? I hate. See what so I it's hate. A donkey. What I hate are all those stupid questions they ask you, so right. that later on they might ask you one of them, right? Right. Well, they uh, asked me, and two. it just hit me. Why don't you just, when it comes time to fill them out, like it goes, what was your favorite city? Trump. What's your favorite? What was your pet's yeah. first name? Trump. And Trump. just do everything Trump. with the same name so that no matter what question they ask you, you can just go Trump. You know? Yeah. That works. I mean, I hate all that stuff. I would like them to say to me, if you would like ultimate security, let us know. And then yeah. you can go through all this bullshit. But if you uh-huh. don't want the ultimate security and you're willing to take your chances, then. Good luck, you know, and then you don't have to answer anything. You don't have to have a password for anything, you know. And it was going back to the disco age. It said, we want to do two-step verification. Well, that one I I hate. I I, I don't do the two-step anymore. Well, maybe that was a country western thing. Every time I sign on to anything Apple, it gives me a thing where I got to put some numbers in. You know. Yeah. One time, what where was my grandfather? Where In where turn. was he born? Yeah. It X is me. Go, okay, so I think New Jersey, but I think New York. Well, why don't you why don't you just put in Trump? <laughs> you know, just <laughs> answer all all those questions identically. You know, um, Rudy. But I, well, you know, Trump may be using that. I've had the same. I've had the same password for the past twenty years. Yeah. Okay. And recently, it's gotten to the point where if you use it, but all of a sudden they want you to uh, redo your update password it. or something. Uh, no, not update it, but just redo your password because it, it's it's gotten flummoxed or whatever. They right. won't let you go back to that old one. Right. That's right. And you know, it used to be you could just use four letters or numbers or, or something. Then it went up to six. Now it's eight. Now you got to have a capital and a, and a and a special thing. Yeah. You know, pretty soon I'll have to hire Tony to remember what they Just are. Just ask me if I want to be super secure or not secure at all, and I'll take my chances. Yeah. You know, I, you know go ahead, steal my identity. Then you'll have no life. That's what I think bubbles well, line. It, it's it's a similar you know? deal to people on motorcycles that don't want to wear helmets. They say, well, you know, it's my right to drive a motorcycle without a helmet. But the problem is you end up getting your head crushed and you come into the ER and then we got to pay for those motorcyclists that don't have a helmet on. Well, you don't want ultimate security. So when you call up Apple and you say, hey. I, you know, I've been hacked. I've been uh, uh, beat up. I, you know, it, it's not, uh, I can't get into my computer. And they say, well, you didn't choose ultimate security. So we're not going to, we're not going to help you, you know? Well, you know, I've had, I've been. Uh, or you got to pay. But, but I, I've had a situation in which I, uh, I have been, um, um, uh, you know, not hacked, but uh, in one case, uh, somebody, some kid in, Hong Kong was using my information to go buy video games. Okay, so I just tell, uh, uh, I think they were doing it through my account on, uh, on, uh, what's uh, the, uh, you know, what's the, huh? Amazon? No, PayPal. And and so I just called PayPal and I said they've been using my blah, blah, blah. And they go, okay, well, you don't have to pay for it. And we'll tell them. To, to check into it, we'll look into it. So, I mean, most of these companies, if you get if you get ripped off on your credit card, uh, the credit card company absorbs the loss. 
Yeah, yeah, but ultimately, we everybody else absor absorbs that loss too because they make it up in fees. It, they raise Phil, fees Phil, to Phil, everyone. You're giving me the Republican answer. Well, I'm giving you the truth. I'm giving you the truth too. It's yeah, bullshit. Okay. It does. You know, it's like it's like doctors. You it's, used to say, bullshit. you know, the reason you, I, you know the reason I charge so much for. as a doctor, I'm having to pay for my education. Fuck you. You paid it off 20 years ago. <laughs> You well, know, it's, he's still he's still educating himself. That's why they're always practicing. They never get it straight. Really? I hope he, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You know, when, when are they going to be able to just do the thing instead of having the practice to do it? You yeah. Know? But anyway, so I mean, so well, I, I, you know, I, I just, um, you know, I, I would rather just take my chances. I mean, I've been using the same password for the last 20 years and it's never gotten hacked. And it's the simplest fucking password in the world. It's not password. By the way, but oh, I know just, what it is. It's it's Trump. It's Trump. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but the, the problem is, T R U M P is only five letters. You and need by the eight. way, by the way, I don't want fucking passwords. Every do you know? Every time, see these lights there. Are these lights back me and over here. Every yeah. time I hooked up one of those lights, I had to turn them on, turn them off, turn them on, turn them off, and get them to blink. Then when I got them to blink, I had to put in the name of the of the uh, of the uh, uh, Wi-Fi, and then I had to put in the password, and then many times it, it didn't work. It didn't it didn't it, it, it initiate it. They finally did when I went back to my old password. But I mean, I had to do this for four lights here, two lights in the pantry, two lights in the bathroom, a li two lights in the guest room. Come on, that took me about an hour and a half, two hours today. Did because, you see the light? because fucking Fios yeah. turned off the, uh, the, the you know, and they, by the way, they turned it off again later on in the night when I was trying to get things working again. But yeah. it didn't revert the, it didn't make all the um, uh, uh, passwords and names of the Wi Fi's revert to this generic name that they have for it. But if yeah, I know that that's what happens, and I see that those names come up, and I know that they've they've done that. But a guy like uh, a guy like Jeff, who is not, you know, I mean, Jeff is not as savvy about all of this as say we are. And 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 Jeff, you would have a problem, right? You wouldn't know what uh, yeah, what yeah, happened. Problem. And and they don't warn anybody. They don't write and say, "Hey, we're going to be turning this stuff on and off." You know, no, they let you figure it the hard way. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. I've had this. I you know, I have the same problem uh, with uh, you know the the company that provides me my accounting system mm -hmm. at work. Mm -hmm. Something isn't working. They don't send you an email and say, "There's a problem doing this." Yeah. Uh, and we're working on it. You you got to get frustrated for an hour and a half, and then you got to call them. And, and then they tell you, well, you know, we've had a couple of calls on that, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I mean, I and and you call you call. Uh, uh, here's the worst part. I mean, this is the the horror, of course, as you all know, folks. Every one of you is calling technical support. Yeah, because well, Apple it, technical support's not bad. Apple's I mean, very I, good. Yeah, Apple's yeah, incredible. Eight hundred, my Apple. I was a, right a, in. A, a, Apple is terrific. Okay, yeah. I have to say I had a problem with Apple, and I called them, and they helped me, and they saw me through it, and uh, uh, now, you know. Uh, let Let me ask you something. You got the same computer as me, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, if Apple only oh my 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 mine has more stuff in it, but go ahead. <laughs> uh, if Apple asks you for the uh, for the ID number, the serial number, mm -hmm. and you have to turn that thing over and and look, it's so small. Uh, to see the serial number, mm -hmm. if let's say you can't get into the thing, uh, to, to you know that you can't boot it to to turn it on, you go to look at the serial number. It's it's impossible to see. Uh, I have to I have to use a flashlight. Yeah, and I then have to uh, perhaps even use a magnifier. Right. Yes, but if I've got my computer on and they want to know the serial number, it I can get. Yeah, to it's it. easy. Yeah, you it's go easy. up to the Apple and boom, it's there. Yeah. But if you're not if you can't get the computer on for one reason or another. The password issue. Or they should like have that. the serial number in big bold letters across they the should. back. They should. They yeah. should. But they don't. Yeah. So I always uh, take a picture of it. Take a picture of it and keep the picture, and then you can zoom it in. That's not a bad idea. 
But the uh, the thing is, today, uh, tonight, I call up the 800 Apple, and uh, it said, well, you recently had an issue with your iPhone 10. Is that the product you're calling about? And I said, no. No. And they said, what computer are you calling about? I said, Mac Pro. They said, is that the one from 2014? I said, yes. Boom. I didn't have to give them anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, they, they have most of your most of the information on what uh, what, they used to what, ask. They well, always if ask. you if you go to appleid.com or whatever that is. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a place there where you can see all your machines, and all the serial numbers on them, and so on. So. Yeah. You know, well, they have all. It, it's it's Very improving. Good. Yeah. It's improving. But I I often just go to the store. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a store close by? Yeah, it's not that close, but yeah, we're right. also. The, I have an Apple store within walking distance, but I don't uh -huh. want to walk there. <laughs> you know, I I, I want to call them up and the, you know, you, you know. Yeah, you, well, tough. no. To begin with, if you want to see a genius, genius at the Genius right. Bar, call Tony. No, you have to make an appointment. <laughs> And yeah. when you make an appointment, it's some usually about three days from now. Right. And you're going, you know, my, it's broken now. Right. <laughs> you know, it's not broken. I have to fix it right away. I'm going to go crazy. No, well, I mean, I, I, I think that they should say, is this an emergency? Like I went to my, I called my dentist the other day. And it's always said, an emergency. I said, I have an emergency with a tooth with a filling that seems to be coming loose. And uh, the next day they made an appointment for me and I was in there and they fixed it and I'm good to go, you know. Is, are you going to the same woman that uh, you were going to? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but okay. But the filling that got bad wasn't something she did, it's something this, the, 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 the fucked up Previous. dentist did. Yeah. Uh, and, um, so the guy, I didn't have the woman this time. I had her partner, the guy, and he looked at it and he, uh, he said, okay, well, fill it up, you know, uh, yeah. you know, we'll clean it out and fill it up. And I was good to go. And now my stuff isn't being stuck between my teeth and stuff like that, you know. Now you used up all but one dollar of that's your, right. Uh, now, he, that's the best part about this. So, I know, but what so are you going to do well, to fix this? Well, thing? I had one. Well, I I saved one dollar yesterday. Uh, no, but here's the deal. Actually, I pay fifty percent, so I, it, they only gave me fifty cents. Anyway, uh, what happens is, is even though I don't have the any more money left in my thing, they have to charge me what the insurance company says they can charge. Right. Okay. Guy filled the tooth. How much do you think it costs? Three hundred dollars. Hundred. Oh, uh, I know filling? that when they did this tooth at my uh, at my uh, old dentist, she charged me four hundred bucks for it. A hundred and fifty-four dollars. Oh She just that, put a filling. In that, that's, that's a the, that's a trip for me to Costco. Is that that's the full pop? That's for for the filling was yeah. 154 yeah, per the insurance. Yeah. So you still would have if you had the insurance, you would only have saved 75 bucks. Yeah. 76 bucks. Yeah, maybe more. I don't know. I don't know what they would pay. Well, 50-50 is. Well, you know, I don't know if it's 50-50 on fillings. It could be 80 percent on fillings. Oh. I don't know. But it, the point is. I, I was I was ready to you know give her my card and go okay what's the damage here here's my card, and she says oh it's a uh, uh, hundred and fifty four dollars I went what <laughs> you know hey, with those kinds of prices you ought to you with those kinds of prices you ought to lose a couple of other fillings yeah right. you can't afford not to not to get more fillings that was, today that was fun. but it was cheaper at Costco you get two of them yeah you get you get two right. Got to pull the tape off. <laughs> anyway, though. so anyway, so I'm uh, I'm still peeing blood. You oh, will be. Yeah, a little while. Uh, it's not badly. It's 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 lightening up, uh, and I haven't taken a shit since the procedure. Really? Are you backed up or no? No, I just think that. Well, to begin with, I did a fleet enema before I went in, so that got rid of everything oh, okay. that was there, and <laughs> you know. Uh, and, and then I did poop when I came home, and then I haven't <laughs> since then. So I don't know. So maybe I'm, you know. Uh, Eat spinach because my my mother. But tomorrow, tomorrow, my doctor's supposed to call me and let me know what the results are. So 
see. Good. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm not expecting. I'm. I'm not expecting. Uh, I'm thinking the worst, but the fact is that I really have no symptoms of anything, and he doesn't see anything or feel anything. You know, so if I've got it, it's you know. Yeah. Probably. Well, uh, there's no symptoms really. No. Uh, you know. You could lose weight. I mean, I I had it. No, and, but uh, but but they could feel it though. Yeah. Uh, maybe depends on where it is. No, Phil. They when the, you had yours, they felt oh, yeah. something, right? They knew there yeah. was a tumor there, right? Yeah. My guy uh, can't guess. feel anything, and he's looked at it with the scope inside me mm-hmm. and all of that. Yeah. You know. Yes, yeah, but they knew the scope. They can see everything. Well, they can't see everything, but you know they can get a good idea of what's going on mm-hmm. in there. You know. So uh, you know. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I just don't think that uh, I, 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 I don't, I can't see that it's, it's something that's spread to the rest of my body or anything like that. Oh no, yeah. because they can, if they shoot you up with uh, some dye, uh, they yeah. could do a CT scan and they could see if it's spread to the bone, and the well, bone is the next place it spreads yeah. to. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not even. I, yeah, I'm not, not even. Worried, be, I'm yeah. not even worried that we've gotten that that far. You know. Yeah. Uh, he he wasn't worried. I mean, he said, you know, yeah. I he said it. it who knows? He said that you know he he knew a guy. I said this last night. He said he had one patient who, for the last ten years, has had a PSA of ninety. Ninety? How can you have a PSA of ninety? PSA of ninety. He said. I've and, never heard of them. And and he every time they give him a PSA ninety. And what you do they know. do? And uh, they they checked everything in him, and they've done biopsies and all of that. And yes, he's got cancer in his prostate, but it hasn't yeah. spread. Mm. <laughs> you know, so he says there's no telling what happens with these things. He said, but you know, he said I can tell you how old you want to be. I said I'd like to live to be 88. He says I think you're going to make it. You know. He said he, he didn't, he didn't, it was like he, he kind of, I kind of got this feeling from him that he, he wasn't expecting the worst, okay? Um, but I'm telling you, Phil, and I told this to Kevin last night, that was maybe the easiest procedure I've had. Oh, that was really? just practice. No, that was an easy <laughs> procedure. I mean, he, you in the he, right spot. he would do you the feel thing. Any you know, it, sound, it sounds I'm like it sounds like a staple gun, right? Yeah, and, feels like one too. No, it doesn't. No, no, it was just a little. Well, little they numbed you up, and yeah. you know, they numbed me up, but I still don't think they used enough numbing. Well, you know? well, all I know is he up. he did a great job, and if he wanted to do it again next year, I'd say sure, go right ahead. You know. I mean, it, it was just, uh, it was so easy and so uneventful that I walked out and I went, that was it, you know? So maybe it's more on our mind than Alex, because you get nervous. Well, I, I don't know. know. Kevin says really his fun. was painful, you know? Mine was uncomfortable. Yeah. No, mine yeah. wasn't even uncomfortable. I mean, I was talking like to, Jeff, I, as, he Jeff was, was as he was, as he was, as he was, well, in a second, Jeff, as he was, uh, um, uh, doing this staples thing, whatever it is, you know, ping, ping, ping. I'm talking to him through the whole thing, and he's talking back, and I'm going, and and I, I wasn't even, even uh, the first one I went, I didn't know what to expect, so I kind of went, ooh, you know. He said a lot of people say this feels a little like an electric shock. He's what he said, yeah. and he did it, and uh, and uh, every time before he did, he said, here we go again, and. Uh, I just it was like I went. This is like a walk in the fucking park, you know. So I don't know what they did to you guys, but maybe the Marquis de Sade or Mengele was your. Well, doctor. I, have, I have Kaiser. I have, yeah, you, know, you have Kaiser. Have, stinks at you have Kaiser. Where their motto is, "Yeah, you don't need anesthetic." <laughs> it's really <laughs> <laughs> I've Well, he offered me a hammer. Yeah, they saved a lot of money though. Oh. But I, you know, I mean, um, he, he was, he was, uh, Marjorie said afterwards, because she sat in on the consult with me, she said, that's a good doctor. She said, See? she said, I really feel you're in good hands with this guy. And she oh, said, yeah, and, and she kept reminding me that it didn't seem like he felt it was going to be anything, any big deal. And if the worst came to worst, 
We yeah. do uh, we do radiation. And by the way, Phil, here in New York, yeah. I have access to proton therapy. Yeah, well, they there's access to it Look. here, except Kaiser. You right it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, proton, well, I asked him about proton. He says, ah, there's some question about proton, whether it's better or not. And I said, well, it looks like it's better because it doesn't have the same, you know, it, it targets. Side effects. Yeah. It has, yeah. has the same side effects, yeah, and there are less uh, treatments of it, too. Right, five yeah. treatments. No, not five. Yeah. No, this was it's, like, this is like goes on for a month or two, a month and a half. Uh, no, it's every other day for five days. Mm -mm. No, no, I uh, read then, all about then you're it. Not, you're not going to Proton Plus. You, you got it, uh, or discount proton therapy. Yeah, no. You know? <laughs> oh, no. no, they it's, it, they, they, they said it, it's less time, like if it's normally, if somebody would be giving it to you for six weeks with us, it's four weeks, you know. Oh. Oh, but, then it, it's, you go to Proton for less. But and they're here. Better, they're in here in Har Costco, They're here in Harlem. For one. Yeah, they're yeah. here in Harlem as well. So, yeah, uh, I told Jeff my, was trying to say something, and he's yeah. probably forgot. Oh, Jeff, now, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I'm thinking, like, if by next week, you're going to be absolutely gone with the prostate problem. So you're going to have to come up with a new disease. No, well, that's I don't if he doesn't know. I don't know. You know, I may, I may. We got I, Thanksgiving. I could have the cancer, but it could be that I've, you know, got like a six Gleason score or a Gleason score that's the good seven. Less than six. No, there's a good seven, too. Yeah, uh, no, you, you yeah it's like if, it, nice if, if it's a three, four or four, three or something, that's the good one. I mean, it could be something like that. And he's just going to tell me, come back and see me in six months. You know, we'll just keep an eye on this thing. You know, it's no big deal. So, I mean, who knows? Who knows? But um, at your age, they're not going to take it out. Oh, they're not, they're not going to take gonna, it out. And they may not do anything. That they're not going to take it out, but they could do the uh, they could do the uh, radiation. And if they do the radiation, that always clears it up too. You know. So. Uh, did he say what the uh, size of your prostate is? Normal. Uh, so it's uh, like thirty. Thirty. I don't know normal. what he. I don't know what it is. He didn't say, but uh, he, he said it, it's normal. And he said yeah. that, but part of it is because I take the uh, finasteride, the yeah. you know, which well, makes it. Small. They can they can do the seeds on a normal prostate. Oh yeah, but uh, but I may not even need that. I don't I don't know what I'm going to need. I don't know if they, we'll find out tomorrow. I'll, tomorrow night I'll either be really happy or very depressed. You know. Yeah. Well, or, you or, know, or not on at all. Well, you know? the, the the only thing is they. You might have cancer, and they just didn't find it through the biopsy. Well, that's uh, that makes me feel good, Phil. I knew it would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're always you're <laughs> always one. Look, I know that they, they, he, he he only takes twelve cores, and uh, he may have hit the wrong places. But if it took right. if in twelve cores they don't find one, chances are whatever you got ain't that extensive. You know. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So. Uh, whatever. So I mean, I mean, what was your? Uh, so anyway, uh, did you hear we're on Pandora? No. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're I on, just get it on YouTube, and I'm a happy guy. No, we're on Pandora. You know yeah. what that means? I'm you get paid? No, no. But I'm now bro being broadcast essentially by Sirius XM again. Oh. So because they own you, Pandora. That, yeah, so you now have uh, you're now in the broadcast uh, venue again. Well, no, I was with uh, uh, iHeartRadio. I'm on iHeartRadio's uh, uh, site as well. So yeah, you know, I tried to get the other guys on, and I applied for iHeartRadio for all our other shows, and yeah. uh, they didn't accept them, or they didn't huh. they they didn't they didn't never got back to me on it. Yeah, yeah. They probably listen to the show. I'm thinking of maybe trying to <laughs> trying to get Jack's show on yeah. uh, on Pandora. See what happens, but you know. Uh, so just don't, but don't tell Sirius XM. In fact, I have a spot I did here. Would you like to hear the spot? I I love this. sure. I, I so love the spot that I would like you all to hear it again. Here we go. In 2013, after nine years, Alex Bennett got let go by Sirius XM Satellite Radio for reasons yet to be known. Was it his salary? Was it his advancing years? Or did he just suck? The truth will never be known. 
Last year, Sirius XM, knowing that their old and rusting satellites were yesterday's technology, bought into the internet by taking over the streaming service Pandora. Well, we suppose that Alex has finally snuck his way back into the Sirius XM orbit, presenting Alex Bennett's ramble on Pandora. Get Pandora and get Alex, but don't tell Sirius XM. If they know he's there, they might dump him again. The Ramble from GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Huh? Very nice. Yeah. yeah. And of course, that's Albert. Yeah. Who is the new voice of GabNet because Rob's equipment doesn't work. So You know, talking about Albert, uh, I guess he's uh, the Prince Albert is having a real hard time. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I, I, all of a sudden, I like how you work that into the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> you know, speaking of Albert, Prince Albert. Right. And it's not Prince Albert. It's Prince Andrew. Andrew Albert. Is he in a can? You no, but Albert I'll knock on the door and see if he'll come out. <laughs> and do you have Prince Albert oh. in the can? I didn't know he was taking a dump. That's the old joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, so anyway, did you hear today that after he gave that uh, interview, that really good was, interview, he really was yeah, smart oh, to do that excellent. one. Yeah. And they asked him, you know, why, why did you stay at the, uh, at I, uh, Epstein's house? And he says, it was a good deal. <laughs> no, he said it was a very nice apartment, and, and you get blown. So, you yeah. know, I mean, come on, you can't beat that. Well, Free massages, he, what do you yeah, want? He doesn't have, they let him go from uh, the royal family. He doesn't have any duties anymore. Uh, I guess he's been suspended or... Uh, and he's also been suspended from a lot of charities that he was... Yeah. Uh, he He has basically no income coming in. Right. <laughs> and uh, I think he has to go back to the states and answer the uh, uh, the accusations. Uh, no, there were no accusations against the him. minor. Th there was a minor at the time. She was seventeen, and she says she was forced to bang him three times. Seventeen's kind of close, though. You, uh, you can, yeah, but you can fudge on I guess that. Not one. New York. Well, you can fudge on that. Uh, you know, I mean, you're getting close to that. You know, here's what I don't get. It's not okay to fuck somebody when they're 17, but their birthday's the next day. <laughs> okay? But the next day, it's okay to fuck them. I just don't understand that. You know? I mean, <laughs> isn't there a kind of like a grace period on either side? I don't, no, know? I don't think there's a grace period. I think what happened is this guy has got a problem, and he's got a big mouth, so... You know, it's 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 going to be tough for him. For her, him, I don't think I don't think Andrew's got a problem. I think Andrew knew Epstein. Listen, Epstein knew a lot of people. Okay, yeah. Epstein ingratiated himself to anyone he could get next to. Okay, yeah. Uh, so uh, that that was his his problem. All right. Um, but so it, it does. It goes without saying that he would ingratiate himself to Andrew. I mean, if you're making a big deal about him ingratiating himself to Andrew, then I suppose you should probably make a big deal about the fact that he ingratiated himself to Donald Trump, and Donald Trump took some of his favors. You know, whether it was a party or a trip somewhere or whatever. Yes, Jeff. My granddaughter's seventeen. Yeah, she's in high school. Now, when's she going to yeah. be 18? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I know she's in high school. You know, um, 17, you know, I mean, if it's another 17-year-old kid, that's one thing. But, you know, somebody that's 60 years old and a 17-year-old kid, and uh, she says she was forced to do it. I don't see how she, she, keep, she kept going back, I guess, for three different uh, occasions. But, uh, well, that, 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 that's, you know, that's all a question to be asked, okay? I mean, yeah. um, what if, uh, what if you, were, uh, you meet up with somebody and they say they're 18 and it turns out they're 17? Uh, and they pass themselves off as 18. Are you supposed to, like, ask for identification? What are you supposed to do? I guess in today's world you are. I was, had, listen, I, I was in that situation when I was much younger, when I Me was too. at uh, at uh, uh, the uh, Live 105, or actually the Quake, 
Yeah. Uh, uh, and this woman came on to me, and we started having an affair. And one day, uh, she told me that her birthday was the next day, and I said, how old are you going to be? And she says, well, I haven't told you my right age. I'm going to be 18. And I immediately called up my lawyer <laughs> and asked him, you know, but, but she oh had God. along the way told me that she was 18, you know. I should have kind of suspected something was wrong when she told me she worked at McDonald's, all right? But, you know, I mean, I just, you know, and uh, now she's, uh, I still hear from her. She's in her 50s now. She's an old broad, you know. But I was worried about that, and I dumped her immediately as soon as I found that out, even though she was going to be 18 the next day, because I didn't like that kind of lying to me. Because, you know, okay, tell me how old you are, and then if I want to, you know, take the chance, right. <coughs> I'll do it, but don't lie to me. See, and, you know, you probably had a, I probably, you probably had to really watch everything, Alex, because you don't know when anybody's telling you the truth then. Because they can, she could have said, oh, I'm 21 or 20. And listen, I'm, I'll admit to something here, and I hate to, I, I don't like to admit to it, and that's past the, you know, I can't get arrested for it now. Statute of limitations. But the fact is that uh, uh, I was, um, uh, uh, let me hold on a second. Let me just get Bree on here. There's Bree. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me see here. Hello, Bree. How are you? Uh, Hello. Yeah. Any, good, good, any, good. Any, anyway, let me, let me say what I was going to say. I knew this uh, girl, yeah. uh, and she was... Um, she was a very mature woman and and passed herself off as uh, as as i think 20 and she looked like absolutely like she could be 20 right yeah i looks can be deceiving later she after for a long time telling me that she was you know 20 20 20 20 she finally admitted to me that she was 15 Oh, well, I dumped her really fast. Now the question is, did I do something wrong? Uh, yes and no. The same thing happened to me, but this yeah. one was fourteen. Oh, okay. So what happened was, uh, in the days of film, uh, I used to deal with a photo lab, and <clears throat> this this gal would answer the phone, and we'd chat, and she was fun and gregarious, and uh, so she said, "Let's meet." So I meet her, and she's very good-looking and uh, very mature-looking. And I said, you know, how old are you? She says, I'm 18. I think I was... Wait a minute. Hold 19. on a second. Hold on a second. Bree? Bree? Yeah. Look down and see if we can yeah. see the tiger. Come on. You're passing the tiger. Okay. You're passing... Uh, 30, sec 30, 45 seconds. Oh, okay. The eye of the tiger. Yeah, the white tiger. Let's, so, you know... Uh, let's uh, continue uh, to hear show making... Uh, uh, yeah, an illegal thing. And, you know, yeah. she was actually married. She uh, she was from Muscle Shoals, Alabama, and in Alabama, she got married and uh, I guess Your left brother? the husband, uh, probably. And she was out in San Francisco, uh, and uh, it turns out after I met her, she told me that she was fourteen. Well, then she's in a pant, but she was an emancipated minor. Because yes, she, she was. was married, so you were, oh. you know. But, but you know, I mean, these things happen, and 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 guys have been lied to all the time. Now, I don't think that Andrew was lied to, you know. No, uh, no he uh, knew what he was getting into. He knew what he was getting into, but he wanted uh, to see the tiger. It also, did he stop going over to Epstein's place as soon as he found out she wasn't of age? You know, what 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 did he do? I mean, in, in my case, uh, I stopped seeing the woman. You know, yeah. I just I, I just said, that's it. You know, I can't do this. Uh, it's wrong. Uh, so, you know, you know right from wrong, but you can't get lied to. Oh, there's that swingy thing from yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, people were screaming on it. Yeah. Can you turn on your mic so we can hear this? Oh, here, here we go. Now, down there. Uh, there he is. Wh where? Yeah. There where, he is. Where? Where? I don't see him. There he is. I don't see him. 
I don't uh, see him. Wait you need oh, a steady oh, cam. Oh, oh, wait a minute. If you're going to keep okay. walking. There he is. There, there he, he is. is. Oh, yes. Yeah, nice Do you see him? Wait a, minute. wait a minute. Everybody Yesterday be quiet. Everybody. There we go. Everybody be quiet. Yeah, let's, okay. let's, everybody be quiet and let's see. get a little let's, closer over here. Looks like somebody is going in his cage. I don't, I don't know. Let's, not for long. Oh, whoops. Yeah. There, the oh, there he is. Here. There he is. You see him, folks? Yeah. That, that's a white tiger. Is that a Bengal tiger, or what kind of tiger is that? I would assume it's a Malayan tiger, but I, I don't yeah. know if they come in the white varietal. Yeah. And see him? No, yeah, the, yeah. the tigers yeah. are no different. It just happens to be white. You know, actually, he has a fairly huge habitat to walk around, but he's still pacing, which means he feels cooped in. Oh, yeah, he can... He can go. It's massive. I mean, it's it's on the other side of the. It's like, it's pretty big. Yeah. Uh, he, it must be feeding. I think Roy. it's getting close to uh, feeding time. Yeah. Because when they pace like that and near there, or he's waiting for somebody to fall off of the swing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's, he's got all this area over here. Yeah. You know where he can go. It's pretty extensive. Uh, Oh, so yeah, they are. Do you, do you ever uh, do you ever buy extra sushi and bring it back and throw it off the edge there? <laughs> no, I haven't done that because they got. Yeah, they've got CCTV cameras here. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to go down that path. Yeah, you know. But now it, in Singapore, they cane you if you spit on the sidewalk or you chew gum and spit it. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, what do they do to you in Kuala Lumpur? Uh, they just uh, hang same you. Same thing. Or? Same thing. Same they, thing. Yeah, so that's why it's clean. <laughs> yeah. yeah, wow. Well, uh, folks, you don't see that that often, but when you watch uh, GabNet, you see, uh -huh. and the people who are listening to us on uh, on uh, 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 Pandora, too bad you yeah. don't get oh, the yeah. video version. Okay. You know. All right. <clears throat> so there you go. Yeah. There you hey, go. It says, uh, "Look, look, live tiger exhibit. exhibit." There we go. See. You're walking above a live you know, tiger. That, that, it does kind of, uh, you know, give you a little jolt walking to work in the morning. Like, you know, if I'm not fully on my game, I could become tiger's breakfast. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that and if your employers don't like you, they just push. It doesn't seem like well, they... Well, I had a... Uh, it doesn't seem... Sorry, though, I had a... <laughs> well, Bree, uh, Bri, what I was saying is it doesn't look like they have a lot of protection there for people. No, you no, know. they don't. You're absolutely right. I had a uh, boss in Dubai. He used to say, uh, "It doesn't matter in Africa. It doesn't matter if you're the gazelle or the lion. When you wake up in the morning, you better be running like hell." Yeah. You know. Hey, you know, in San Francisco <laughs> at the zoo several years ago, somebody climbed over a big fence into a tiger cage, yes. got mauled, and was killed. And they made the well, because they're so stupid in San Francisco, they made the uh, they made them build a higher fence so that people couldn't get over the fence. Instead of telling people, you know, don't be stupid and climb over the fence, you're going to get mauled and killed. They build a higher fence here in Kuala I, Lumpur. I seem to remember that incident, didn't they? Didn't they put the, the tiger down or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This was a. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it, it's amazing. You look at this and you say, oh, they've only got a three and a half foot high uh, thing and that, you know, people could jump over. They could get into the habitat. No, they respect everything over there and they don't do these stupid things like they do in San Francisco. Because in San Francisco, if they get eaten, they'll sue, you know, even though there was a fence. But, but didn't and, and they? The didn't they? Was well, it didn't, like didn't, that lady, uh, where was it? Yeah. New York that jumped over the fence and started taunting the tiger. Right. The zoo was closed in San Francisco when this happened. It was at, at night or on a... You know. It was a kid. Yeah, they, it was, yeah, it was right. a they kid, if I remember Sloat correctly. Street or some shit. Yeah, it was a kid. Yeah. Uh, it was a, uh, an adult kid. It was, a, you know, a, a yeah. teenager. Yeah. yeah. Some shit. And so, you know, people... And they sued there, and they won. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You know, how <laughs> morons. And, and, Tiger and so, dies and they get paid. Right. How does that work? And and they had to put a higher fence to keep yeah. morons like that out of there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but it seems to me as though Bree, who is now getting to be a very boring human being, 
is going to get the same lunch he got <laughs> yesterday. This almost seems like <laughs> well, you, 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 you go to a different place, Bree. This almost well, seems like a rerun of yesterday, Bree. <laughs> yeah, got, you're, that's true, Alex. I'm sorry about that. Bree, can I, I ask you, you a know, question? You sure. you're into technology. You have ten phones, twenty iPads. Yeah. Why don't you get a steady cam for your iPhone? I don't have I don't have an iPhone. I have a Galaxy oh. Note 4. The, I, the, it is, the iPhone does the okay. iPhone does have a steady cam in it. The iPhones yeah, are very but, but steady. The, the earlier iPhones had to have they had a uh, a thing you hold on to with the battery. You own one, Alex. Uh, and no, that was no, sure that wasn't an iPhone. Work. No, that wasn't an iPhone. That was the uh, the uh, GoPro. The gimbal. And oh, the, the gimbal, for, gimbal but now the GoPro has a cell is self gimbling, so you yeah, don't even you need that. You get a gimbal for a phone, uh, even if it's not the same brand as you know, not an Apple well, or something. Well, Apple get a gimbal. Apple sells them at the Apple Store. They have yeah. those gimbals. Will yeah. it work with his Note? As uh, uh, probably, probably. Yeah. yeah, you can get them online what? for like eighty bucks now. So it connects to via Bluetooth or what? No, it yeah. grabs yeah, onto it the connects, phone. You put it on the Bluetooth, phone, and then it just... It just it, you it, walk around with it, and you it, can shake it around and everything else, but it steadies the camera. It's got a gimbal on it. How do I do the audio? Uh, like, the regular way you... It, 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 all it is it is right it's, it's a thing that holds the camera. That's all no, it is. Right now, I'm using my Bluetooth headset. Yeah, no, you can no, still use none it. of that. It none of that changes. It. it has nothing. All you do is clip it onto this thing, and then it it uh, it uh, works it as a gimbal. It. Well, here, here we it, go. It's a handle. Yeah, uh, no, yeah. Kevin's got one. Uh, it's this. So, well, yeah, but that, oh. that's a, that's a that's a more major one. That, than, is that no, for the not. is that for the GoPro? Uh, uh, Looks no, like that's for a just, phone. That's for a phone. I got it'll work on any phone. Oh really? How much did that run you? Connect it up with Bluetooth here, and it yeah. steadies it. How how much did it cost you? This one cost me like ninety bucks. Really? Oh yeah. Hmm. So you put your phone in there? Yeah, you clip it in right here. And, yeah, and then when oh. as you walk, it stays steady. Uh, uh, no matter. Yeah, it'll it'll no. steady it, and then you can control it right well, here with. Well, you know, but it's not like we're on HBO here. Yes, yeah, we that's are. That's true. We're on Pandora. <laughs> No, not the video. Just the audio oh, well, is Pandora. You, iPod, you can set it up on a wall, and then it'll follow you around as well. Yeah. Uh, I, really? I, uh, but the GoPro now, the latest GoPro, which I don't, I just put away. It's over is here. The you know the uh, the seven. Uh, it it, it it's self gimbling. I mean it, it it and the the eight I think is even better at it. Yeah. You know. Nah, I go to Macy's. Yeah. Not gimbals. Oh yeah. 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 Well, uh, yeah. Tell, well, you know, with all the technology you have. Uh, oh my God! Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I got to say something. It's Christmas already. It's already Kuala. fucking Christmas in Kuala Lumpur. Did you get Santa Claus? I got my first Christmas card at the store today. Really? Uh, it's yeah. not even Thanksgiving yeah. yet. Now They're now crazy. starting to do all no. this stuff right after Halloween. I got. I got to tell you, Alex, the, the country that has everyone beat for getting ready for Christmas is the Philippines. They oh, yeah. bring stuff out. I am not kidding you. In July and August. <laughs> they didn't I'm take down the stuff from the last Christmas. When I was there in September, <laughs> I, you would have sworn it was December. Yeah. It would, I mean, all I was listening to the uh, in the restaurant. I'm like, why are they playing Christmas music? Like that is absolutely too early. And then I'm like, nope, this is uh, the Philippines, and they're gonna do their Christmas when they do it. By the way, for those of you who want excitement on this program, we're in a mall in Malaysia. Uh, do they have or, an orange or, Julius? Or would that be a mall Asia? Uh, <laughs> what? Do they have orange Julius in his mall? I wonder if they have it there. Where were the orange Julius? I think they do have all. Do they have orange Julius? He asked. Oh, I think maybe we lost him. Uh, he froze. Yeah, you're frozen, kind of. Yeah. Well, maybe he's eating. No, no. <laughs> you know, he's in a mall. He's underground. I think he froze in the same place last night. Yeah, yeah. And it picks up later when he's eating sushi. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, um, uh, no, Tony, they have Orange Juliuses everywhere. They had them in China when I was there. I think they I saw did. an Orange Julius. Oh, yeah. wow. I used to love that in my mall. Do, do you know Julius. there's something yeah. like there's something like close to five? There's something like close to five thousand Kentucky Fried Chickens in China. Thank you. Can I get a cold cream? Oh, uh, Bree's ordering. He's ordering. Uh, I heard it's cold. He's ordering the same shit he ordered yesterday. He's boring. Okay. Creature of habit. Same, same. Uh, however, today we did get to see the tiger pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it you was know. good tiger. You know, the, the thing is, he he is the king of technology, and uh, you know this, and we get a lot of these tours out of Bree, and I like them. Uh, you know, it would just be nice with a steady cam. Yeah, well, you know, sure. they're only... no, it's not really a steady cam. What is it called? A gimbal. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> uh, Kevin, uh, last night I was listening to Jack and he was uh, giving you a whole thing about your beard and, uh, you know, that it's Christmas time and you're going to be Santa again. Are you doing any of that this year? Uh, I don't know. I haven't gotten any calls. I don't think so, unless somebody calls me for a party or something. Yeah, because you're you're not doing it on a regular basis now. No, the the one job I had over at the Christmas tree farm got taken up by a fake beard, I guess, last year because I had surgery, and uh, the guy didn't call me back. Oh, oh I really? think because he's a trumper. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, okay, wait a minute. I think he's back again. There we go. There, there, there we go. He's he's now getting ready to order his sushi. Um, oh. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see what happens. See, I, I've got a gimbal. Uh, this is called a sidekick. And yeah. you put the camera on it, and it goes on your tripod. It's, so it's not a full gimbal, uh, but it's, a, it's called a sidekick. Yeah. And, yeah, it gives you. Yeah, well, this is the. Uh, in fact, that was just the reason this is here, is I was charging this one. Uh, let me. Uh, is that your is old the, one? This is the yeah. old one. Yeah, this is the old one. This this cost the the gimbal cost like three hundred bucks. Now you can get the built-in gimbal on the on the phone for. Uh, well, they they go for like four hundred bucks, and you can get the yeah. seven for three something and change. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Let me put this back in here. I've been charging it. I've got a four, and I never use it. Really? Yeah. I, I I've even set it up to be on top of my uh, underwater camera housing. Yeah. And uh, I've never I, I don't I don't really even know how to use it. Right. So, right. <laughs> that's how bad it is. So this is how exciting the show gets. We saw a white tiger, but now of course we're seeing Bree ordering food. It's yeah. it's his lunchtime again. I wonder if next time we do the show and you go out to lunch, uh, Bree, uh, you can take us somewhere more exciting. Hey, Bree, do they have California roll on the menu? Oh, uh, sure they do. Yes. <laughs> so they serve California cents. roll and Kuala Lumpur. 75 cents. 75 U.S. cents. Oh, okay. um, I, yeah, I, I was going to go to this uh, all-vegetarian Japanese sushi place. They make all the sushi look like sushi, but it's all vegetarian. But I can't get a signal there, so I can get a signal here. Why so would why you want... Vegetarian sushi. Why? I tell you something. I, I I I have I the other night I ate at a vegetarian restaurant that was a one star Michelin restaurant, and it's called Millennium. It's in Oakland, and I had a meal that was so delicious, and you would not know that it was all plant based. Uh, it was just. Yeah, but that's the point. I mean, why do you get vegetarian if you want something that doesn't taste vegetarian? Well, it it uh, it's not meat either. No, I mean, no, but uh, no. It's so so. What if it's fucking meat? I love meat. Look at me. I'm 80 years. I'm about to turn 80 years old. Meat, 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 meat. All my life, yeah, meat. What about the cancer? I had to get to this age to get it, and then it's the most common cancer that an 80 year old will get. You might not have gotten it if you weren't eating all that meat. It had nothing to do with meat. 
I can tell them it does. <laughs> no, actually, they don't they have uh, the Impossible Burger or the PLT from McDonald's here yet, and I, I would like them to come here. I don't care if they grill it on the same grill. I just want to have it. No. Well, I've had an impossible burger from Burger King, mm-hmm. and it's it's uh, it's got so much other crap in it that it's just as bad for you as uh, as the other stuff. <laughs> well, uh, they they say that uh, you know that I, I I'm saying that I I don't know I that, that um, it's um, to me it's like why, why why would you have coffee without you know without the caffeine? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I never do. You know, I mean, I I, I went into a, a, years ago, I went to a, I decided I was going to try and be a vegetarian. So somebody took me to this vegetarian restaurant, and they had vegetarian hamburger and vegetarian chicken and vegetarian, and I'm going, you're dying for a hamburger is what you're dying for, so eat a fucking hamburger. And by the way, uh, prostate cancer can be caused by eating too much fat. Yeah. 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 But that's not the reason I have it. The reason I have it is because I'm 80 years old. You know, no. I don't know why. If I have it, if I have cancer. it, has has anybody told you why you get prostate? I cancer? don't know if I have it yet. I'll know tomorrow. I, why you can get I'm it? I'm sure I probably have it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure I have it because uh, eight years ago I took the test and the guy was very worried, but he put me on some. Drug began with an H or something. Heroin. And when I took the drug, no, it was like <laughs> I can't remember, but it made the drug made me really aggressive and mean. So I stopped going. Uh, I stopped taking it, and I was so busy getting set up in Dubai that I never went back and got anything figured out. Yeah. But the guy was very worried for me. Yeah. And I have I have trouble today, so. What is I'm your PSA? Just, I'm just ignoring it all. Oh. Yeah. So if you don't see me one day, you'll know. Nah, it's it's slow. Oh, let's it's see. What, what are you having now? What is that? This, uh... You see what the things, too. That's hard to do. I, I, I'm that. very I bad with chopsticks, eat. by the way, but those I can't shrimp. eat with them damn things. I can't do it either. Are those shrimp amazing. with the head? I just get a damn fork. No, it's shrimp with the head, I think. But you get the little fingers. No, they're called chopsticks. This is crab. I oh, it's crab? Crab. That's what forks are for. Hey, uh, Tony, Spork. what do they call Chinese food in uh, in Queens? Chinks. My mother's got right. it tonight. We have leftovers <laughs> in the refrigerator. You want me to show you the leftovers? By the way, folks, no. I did not say that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Phil didn't say that. Minutes. Nobody they here said that. Uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> Jeff didn't say that. D- uh, did you, Jeff? No. My, my, uh, that was, my that close was, friend uh, that, Michael. That was Tony. Was, yeah, my close friend Michael was engaged to a Chinese, uh, half Chinese, half Hawaiian gal, and yeah. they were together for several years. And so one af- one Sunday, he says, "Hey, let's go for chinks." That was the end of it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> she was so make, pissed at him. Well, you, you know, you know what? You know, I gotta you. tell you something. I, uh, I tell- was the same. Uh, I, when I was in before grad school, I was dating a, uh, a Vietnam, and there was a in um, Central. Uh, what's the Grand Central? One of the or Metro North Station is that Grand Central? Yeah, I guess. Anyway, there was a Vietnamese soup place down below. It was called Nems, N-E-M. But I kept saying, "Let's go to Nam." She didn't like that. She didn't like that. Well, the thing is that that when you say that, when like Tony says that, he's not saying that in a pejorative way. No. You know, it's just he grew up, and that's what they called Chinese food. That's what the Jews called Chinese food. You know, just like Jewish food, you say you want to go out for some kike. You know. <laughs> we always did say chinks. Always did. Really? He came. Yeah. yeah we well, did. what I've often felt about. Words that we use, and and I, uh, hey, I you know, I'm racist because I'm white, but I'm basically not what you would call racist. Okay, I'm racist. Not like Trump is, um, Phil. Uh, anyway, hey, uh, I don't. If you invite me to respond, I will. <laughs> 
<laughs> but the thing is, I think that when you use those kind of terms, it's a question of intent. What is that? Looks good. It <laughs> looks good. What is it? What is it? Three, what is that? Uh, no, no microphone. He doesn't have his microphone on. Yeah. It's, um... That is... Huh? Salmon. 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 Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Whoa. That's one of my favorites. You know, yeah. Shecky and I go for sushi a lot out in Queens. But he's having sashimi. We go to a place called Minato. Minuto. Min Minato's. And, and it is just... It's, it's a buffet of, of uh, sushi and all things sushi related. And it is... It's like that. Yeah. What time is it there, Bree? Is this breakfast? Uh, I'd say right now it's 11.54 in the morning, isn't it? Bree? Oh, so he's having lunch. Huh? What, what time is it? 12.54. It's oh, 1.54. Okay. So it's almost 1 o'clock. So he's having lunch. But, you know, the Japanese eat this stuff for breakfast. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, I'm running a little late on my lunch today. That's why. Wait a minute. What, what, wait a minute. Now... What time is it there? Did you say one fifty-four? He said it was almost one o'clock. Oh, it was almost one o'clock. Okay. Because usually during daylight savings time, it's exactly a twelve-hour difference, right? Uh, I just got the bill. That's exactly right. Yeah. 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 So how much was this lunch? Okay. How much is this lunch going to cost you? Five bucks. What a deal! That's good. That's good. Yeah. How are prices? What's the conversion from American uh, uh, do, U.S. dollar to? Uh, so it's one dollar to four. Uh, uh, Renka. Renka. Hmm. Yeah. Here's my here's my stuff that I got. See. Is oh, that dessert? Yeah, that's dessert. Oh, I get a chicken. He's you're breaking you're breaking, you're breaking up on us, Bree. You're breaking up on us. Oh. Yeah, they deliver. I was going to take the, the uh, uh, plate. Uh, 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 That's how they figure wait. it out. This is salmon as well. Anyway, we got about two minutes left. So, what do you all think about the hearing so far? <laughs> I don't think he had any hearing in two minutes or less. Uh, what do you think of the hearings today? Um, uh, Who do you want? Anybody, anybody see the debate at all? I missed it. No. No, you didn't see it. You see I it? heard that there were easy questions that MSNBC was giving them. They were kind of feeding them softballs. Really? Uh, I, I heard Buttigieg did okay. Buttigieg yeah. did and okay. Booker, and Biden stepped all over his weenie, so he's probably yeah. going to be done pretty Book, soon, I Booker, think. Booker... Uh, after his performance, uh, raised six hundred and fifty thousand dollars yesterday. Oh, that was good. Well, Buttigieg yeah, supposedly yesterday they were all gunning for him, and he handled it beautifully. Is what I hear. Yeah. You know, I think there's a good shot at him being the nominee. A very good shot. And and your buddy from New York, uh, Bloomberg. He's he's already he's registered. Uh, he's, uh, yeah, I don't know what I, I, I forget it. I don't want it. What do, you mean, what do you mean my guy Bloomberg? My guy isn't Bloomberg. He's from your hometown there. Well, of course. So are you. Well, I was born there, but, you know, I consider myself more a San Franciscan than we uh, don't. New Yorker. We don't. We San Franciscans <laughs> don't consider you a San Franciscan. Huh? Yeah. Then in fact, we deny your existence when anybody. Well, asks. hey, I could just say I'm Mexican, and I could be a Sam. You're Francisco. very, you're very Christ-like, Phil, because we deny you three times. <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> <not gonna stop. laughs> you know. But what anyway, hey, listen, uh, we we didn't talk politics at all tonight, except when I brought it up at the very end for the fun of it. But you know. whoa, whoa, whoa! And it's I too didn't loud. fall for it. That was too loud. I had it up all the way, and it was too loud. That's the first fuck-up I've made tonight. Well, we're finishing off here with Bree having his lunch. And, uh, 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 uh Phil, glad you got your stuff working. And, uh, Kevin, always great seeing you, Kev. Uh, and, of course, the lovely and attractive Tony. It's wonderful to see you. And Jeff, uh, finishing off with you there. 
Uh, that's a, kind of like uh, our citizen panel for tonight. Any last words anybody has? Huh? I wrote Trump. the damn bill. <laughs> okay. And uh, by the way, uh, we'll pick up the check. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, send it Send it over to Alex. Send it to me and I'll, I'll <laughs> pay for it. Pay for lunch. Uh, hey, everybody. It's time to wave a big, uh, big, 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 big goodbye. I'll wave back at you. Yeah, there we go. And there goes our citizen panel for tonight. Get lost, you guys. Okay. Anyway, that's it for our show tonight. Uh, up next, over most of this same gabnet, is the intersection featuring Jack Bishop and you and your calls. So why not join him? Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night, same time, right after uh, Damien does his show at 9.30. We'll be back again at uh, 10 o'clock uh, Eastern Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. See you later. <laughs>